A few days before MWC, LG announced its latest flagship, the LG G8 ThinQ. Now we're taking a look at it for the first time since its official launch. As a successor to last year's G7, the G8 has many of the same features. It still has a sharp 6.1 inch display, a water resistant design, and dual rear cameras. But LG added an updated front facing camera, which it calls a Z camera, that has some gnarly new tricks. The 8 megapixel camera has an IR sensor and transmitter, for example, which helps it with 3D mapping and motion capture. That means the G8's face unlock is more secure, and it can work in low light conditions since it's carrying out 3D facial recognition instead of 2D, similar to the iPhone. You can also unlock your phone by scanning the veins in your hand. Yes, you heard that right. By hovering your hand over the camera, you won't need to touch your phone at all to unlock it. It doesn't work as fast as the facial recognition or the fingerprint scanner, which you can still use, but the idea is pretty cool. The hand scanning also builds into another feature LG calls Air Motion. With all its new sensors, the phone can now track and read your hand movements. Using hand gestures above the display, you can launch apps, pause or play media, and even adjust the volume by miming a jog dial. The feature doesn't work super smoothly, and making a Frankenstein claw to control your phone is probably going to get you a lot of looks. But the G8 offers a glimpse into how we may interact with our phones in the future. As for the rear camera, LG added bokeh video recording, so you can get that blurry portrait mode look even when you're shooting video. Lastly, LG tweaked the G8's audio. There's no in-ear receiver on the top of the phone anymore. Instead, sound vibrates throughout the display, which generates the audio you hear. You'll notice this as the phone sounds louder when you lay it on a flat surface. And when you press the phone against your ear for calls. Other key features include a Snapdragon 855 chipset, 128 gigs of storage, 6 gigs of RAM, and a 3.5 ampere hour battery. LG didn't release any availability dates or pricing yet. Though we expect it to be the same price as the G7 when it first launched, it'll probably be more expensive than that. For the US, that means it may be around $750 or higher. For more info, including our full coverage of MWC, check us out at CNET.